As we think about both positive and negative impact that occurs over the course of a day, you, you were talking a little bit about an inventory of impact. Can Tell me a little bit more about that. You know, we talked earlier about how important it is to shape your implicit memory of what you've done well in terms of the confidence factor, for for instance. And, and what I like to do is really remind people that every single day we can shape what we call working memory, which takes place in the brain right behind the prefrontal cortex. Working memory is short-term memory, has to do with the positive or negative facts of the day and that we really begin to shine the spotlight of attention clearly and squarely on what progress have I made, what positive impact have I had over the course of a day. And I do this in retrospect on my way home. I might do it at the dinner table. I certainly need to do it right before I fall asleep because, again, by nature and nurture, our habit is to remember what didn't get done, what flare-up happened that put the kibosh on everything and really set us back, that person that I know I need to have a talk with to make sure that he or she doesn't do that again, uh, when the kids were not cooperative, uh, the bad news from the teacher. We tend to really focus on that, but intentionally, we can shift our focus. What progress have I made and how did I do that? This is very important. So impact is not just about results. It's about how I got the results. And I like to say, you know, it can be a small matter, not a Nobel Prize winning moment in the day. So for example, I got up this morning at 5.30 and made sure the bed was made before I left. How did I do that? Well, I have a discipline and a need for having the bed made in order to know there's order in my life. Visually, things look in place, right? How do I do that? On some days, it's easy. On other days, I really have to call upon that value that I have, which might seem small, and of course it is, but it does add up these small steps that tell me I'm on the right track, that I can in fact shape my destiny in a day by starting off well, it could be significant. What did I do to pre prepare myself for the interview? You know, that really led to success, led to my ability to have a positive impact on the people in the Renaissance pro process. And as I do that, and I answer the question, how did I do that, I begin to form in short-term memory something that eventually will be logged in longer-term memory. Oh, I see my days are full of progress. My days are full of my ability to influence what happens to make that progress. And that's really what we're after here. It's a way to uh, Remind yourself that even on a day that feels pretty much jogging in place, there are these small steps, there are these small signs of progress that should be celebrated and that can help build on itself and get that ripple effect going. You know, if I had small signs of progress, they can add up to bigger.